Hi, I'm Laura. I'm a first year studying English and French and I'm from the Lake District. Hi, uh, I'm Gosha. I'm a second year studying ancient and modern history uh, and I'm from Poland but I'm currently living in South London. Hi, I'm Jessie. I'm a third year studying English and I'm from Derbyshire. Hi, I'm Aaron. I'm a second year at Christchurch studying law and I'm from the west of Scotland. Hi, I'm Patricia. I'm a fourth year physicist and I'm from Brazil. Hi, I'm Gianni. I'm a first year medical student and I'm from West Yorkshire. Christchurch in one word, um, friendly. Beautiful. Fun. There are tons of extracurricular things that you can do at Christchurch uh, and tons of new opportunities. So last year I had the chance to direct a play that I'd written myself, something I'd never done before. Um, but the university and the College Drama Society were really supportive both financially and of the process. Um, as well as that, I think I've tried something new every single term in terms of extracurriculars and there's tons of volunteering opportunities as well. So I really cannot recommend Christchurch and Oxford enough in terms of uh, things to do in your spare time. What I love about sport at Christchurch is it's really relaxed and inclusive. Um, you don't have to have tried a sport before to get involved. For example, lots of people try rowing, um, which they haven't done before, but also there's sports that everyone's probably tried, like football, hockey, rugby, things like that. Um, and if you are really serious, you can try out for the uni team, but in college it's more just about having some fun and taking a break from work. Inclusive. So as a student of mixed race heritage, I had some concerns about coming to Christchurch because I wasn't sure if I'd fit in with the people who go here. But after only a few weeks of being at university, those fears sort of just went straight out the window. Um, I found to f uh, feel very included in the community. It's a very friendly community. And I didn't feel like um, I deserved to be there any less than anyone else. Um, on a university level, there's societies like the African and Caribbean Society, which you can get involved with. Um, they run socials, they have networking events, they do access and outreach campaigns, movie nights, choirs. There's a whole list of things that you can get involved with um, if you want to. One of the great things about Christchurch is that we have a brilliant support system. Um, there's loads of support for both your physical and mental well-being within college, um, from Karen, who's our college counsellor, who's in once a week, to Midge, the college nurse, who's in every day, basically. Um, our welfare coordinator, Claire, um, she puts on loads of events, such as teas once a week. Um, you can go and bake in her house. Um, you can walk her dog, Layla. Um, and a lot of the welfare stuff is student-led. So I trained with the University Counselling Service um, to become what they call a peer supporter. And we had 30 hours of training in active listening. Um, and then we would run drop-ins once a week um, if people wanted to come and see us with kind of any concerns they had about anything. Christchurch has a really diverse community. And in particular, we have an amazing LGBTQ plus community, both in college and throughout the university. So there's lots of events held in college by the college LGBTQ plus officer um, from movie nights to socials through to um, dinners we have every um, sort of March, February time. There's also an amazing LGBTQ plus society at university level that hosts events with people of all sorts of different identities throughout pretty much every week in term. So no matter who you are, where you're from, there's lots of events going on for you. possible. We recognise that there are issues which mean that there is inequality at Oxford, but the reason that we are filming this video for you today is that you can see the variety of individuals across um, gender and race and sexuality that are able to attend Christchurch and that we really are trying to make this the kind of place that anyone can apply to without any sort of or mitigating as many disadvantages as we can. Very few people from my school, um, with a few ex exceptional years, attended um, Oxbridge. Um, I come from a generation immigrant background, um, and Christchurch has really like, welcomed me and I know plenty of other people also feel welcomed 
Um, so I'd really like to encourage people to apply because if you don't apply, you definitely don't get in. Um, but if you do apply, then you can be contributing to making our community even more diverse and open um, and make your mark on a historical institution. I applied to Christchurch because of its location. Um, we're right in the city centre, which means we're just a few minutes walk away from so many great places like the Covered Market, um, the Westgate Centre, but also as soon as you walk through the gates of Tom Tower, um, you forget you're in a city. It instantly goes quiet and peaceful and when the city is too much we've got so, we've got some lovely green spaces like the master's garden and of course the christchurch meadows um actually one of my favorite things to do is take our college dog layla for a walk in the meadows um it's just beautiful and it reminds me of home one of the main reasons i applied to christchurch is because they guarantee accommodation for all the years of your course so that's great for me as a medical student um who'll be here for six years um, I know that a lot of the older medical students um, do choose to live out of college because that is an option if you want to, but it's really nice to sort of uh, just have that extra stress taken away so you don't need to worry about accommodation um, for the whole of your course if you don't want to live outside of college. One of the big reasons I applied to Christchurch, and there are many, um, was the ensuite rooms. Um, the, in fact, the rooms in Christchurch in general are on them for the most part sizable for the most part they have quite nice views and lots of them are en suite now every room is different that's not true of every single room um, but the quality of accommodation overall is pretty luscious so you're likely to get quite a nice room and that is i mean pretty important for where you're living um, so that's one of the reasons i applied to christchurch as someone who comes from a low-income family, I've had loads of support from the college. Um, they half the price of my meal ticket, I get subsidies on my accommodation, um, so I've never had to worry about um, how I'm going to pay for my accommodation or my food uh, in any of the terms. One of my favourite things at Christchurch is brunch. Um, it happens every weekend. Um, everyone does different things on the weekend, um, but everyone comes together for brunch in hall. Um, it's great to just sit and catch up with people that you might not have seen so much throughout the week over a coffee. Um, and sometimes you can end up sitting there for just ages. Um, also, the hash browns are amazing. My favourite thing about Christchurch is probably dinner, because no matter how busy your day has been and how much work you've had to do, there's still always the opportunity to socialise at dinner. Um, to catch up with friends from other subjects or even from different year groups and it's just a chance for us all to come together. My favourite thing about Christchurch is probably the surroundings. There's so many different buildings and quads that um, have such very different architectural styles and have so much history but also connections to um, modern culture so you'll know um, if you ever visit Christchurch that there's aspects of it that were used in the film of Harry Potter. There's also loads of connections to things like Alice in Wonderland and our gardens and our buildings and it really just is um, a rather amazing and humbling place to work, study and live. My favourite thing would definitely be the people. Uh, as an international student and never known anyone that had been to Oxford, I was quite scared that I wouldn't meet people that had the same sort of likes that I did. And I found that because it's such a large community, you have plenty of people who like going partying and going to clubs, but also lots of other people who like doing lots of other stuff. So I have this group of friends that we meet every week to play board games and drink tea and just chat. And I find that it's really amazing. I've also met people who do different things, for example, Dungeons and Dragons, which is something I just started and I absolutely love it. And I never even thought about trying that. So just meeting so many people in this community, I got to try different things that I really enjoy. Just the fact that you get to be yourself, you get to be passionate about the subject that you study without anyone judging you for it. So it's just uh, really nice to be in an environment around like-minded people who are just as passionate for their subject as you are. So I think we can all enthusiastically say that we hope that you'll be able to come and join us at Christchurch.